Mm-hmm. Yes, you heard me right. Sichuan peppercorn. Oh, it's so good. Hi-in to the heartlands are these fancy chocolates that look almost too good to eat. Here along Sinming Road, you can indulge your sweet tooth and spend your CPC vouchers on gorgeous chocolate bonbons from Mr. Bucket. Did you know that chocolate comes from the cacao fruit that actually grows best in tropical climes like ours? And that's why Mr. Bucket is all about championing Asian growers from the region. And to really celebrate that kampong spirit, Mr. Bucket has also collaborated with local brands. And so you'll have unique flavors like mala with oil from a zita restaurant, marmalade from a homegrown preserves company, soy from a renowned local brewery, and even tea from a Singapore tea brand. I'm going to start with one of the purest forms in a bonbon with the 64% dark pancho. Isn't it pretty with a little blue eye? Mmm. Smooth, silky, bittersweet, luscious. And the same 64% dark has been used in the making of this double soy caramel bonbon made in collaboration with renowned local brewery Kuang Wo Hing. Oh. oh, look at that. It's got an almost molten center. And it is just sticky, savory, sweet. It's called double soy caramel because there is a caramel that is enhanced by the sweet, rich earthiness of a dark soy sauce mixed with a saltier, light soy sauce. How clever. We're moving on to the tea and biscuits bonbon. And inside, they've collaborated with the Clipper Tea Company and they've used a strong English breakfast tea. Yup, there it is. Shortbread. It's buttery, it's crumbly, and you do get that lovely rich tea flavour. Mmm! Next, no prizes for guessing what's inside something citrusy. It is the Kalamansi bonbon. Oh, wow! Mmm! Up there, you've got the Kalamansi Preserves from the Straits Preserves Company. Oh my gosh, my tongue is being tickled as we speak because there's popping candy mixed with an almond praline brittle. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's going pop, 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 pop. So it's like snap, crackle, pop, lime, zest. We're now moving on to something a little heavier. It is the mala bonbon. And it has been infused with mala oil that has been procured from a local zita restaurant. Mm. It's umami, it's lightly spicy, and it's got that unique numbing kind of sensation. And the oil has infused into the white chocolate as well as the dark chocolate ganache. I'm just letting it melt in my mouth. And that lovely, mildly spicy mala ganache. Who would have thought you could find hipster chocolates in an HDB block? Well, it takes a young, passionate Singaporean owner like Jerome Penafort to think outside the box and bring his boxes of bonbons to this bricks and mortar store where you can pop in, watch them being made, and use your CDC vouchers to pay. 